Let's no, no. Yours. Jeez. Good breach. That one guy's tough, man. Yep. I hold doesn't. center. Hold center. Watch your oh, no. Watch oh, your no. Rear. This man just freaking pulled a knife. Yeah, you're going to have to restrain him. Close our left. We'll hit left. there. Overall, we're looking really good to start. Yeah, that's a good hit right there. The most difficult part of clearing a building to me is keeping everything straight in your head, keeping all unit standard operating procedures kind of in the back of your mind, doing everything correctly while still having the mental focus to be able to positively ID a target, shoot them in a timely manner. Clearing a building, there's a million things that could go wrong and do go wrong at all times. And it's on you and your team to take that in stride. And a lot of time take the, that initiative to uh, immediately fix a problem or work around the problem that you can't fix. It's another reason why it takes people quite a bit of time to become proficient as, at this as a team. It's not work on it for an hour or two once a week and you'll be good at it kind of thing. It takes a lot of time and effort to be able to efficiently clear a building and efficiently conduct CQB. It's a mental game, something that you're gonna get hurt doing. Pretty much every aspect about it is difficult in one way or the other. You can work it, but don't proceed into the lobby. Okay, are you guys in that hallway? We're just holding corner hallway right. So this is like that L-shaped intersection. It's on a room, more glass, atrium. G-Man, I got close to a right, and I've got Short hallway room. open, Clear. deep center. This is kind of like a weird, like asymmetrical kind of X intersection where you're linking up with another team. One of those difficult things about CQB is we have shoot houses that we can run through and we have certain buildings where we can conduct training in. All of that might be set up in these nice kind of uniform rooms. They have maybe a couple corner fed, a couple center fed, and then they've got, you know, your nice T intersections, your T, L, and X intersections. And then you come into something here He's coming through a hallway with one long hallway intersecting it, making that T. And then there's one close enough that's running parallel with the hallway that you're coming from in this large kind of elevator waiting area around. So I would call this an X intersection just because there is four kind of lanes that end up intersecting around each other close enough to where I could easily stand in the hallway where he's coming from currently and kind of get a shot down that other long hallway. So I would would treat this as an X intersection. Appointment on either team at least have to have some sort of familiarity with. This may be their very first time ever in this hospital. And so seeing something for the first time and making a call where you're gonna keep other people alive is a pretty stressful thing and another very difficult kind of aspect to CQB. I'm hearing lots of doors. <laughs> yeah, right. Stairs down, I'm gonna block stairs, work the door. Ready? Go on. Prep A. Come light on that. Bang prep. Sending. They're set prep. Yep. Oh. Yeah, a lot of the um, advantages you might find in CQB come from that sills, stop, look, listen, smell. It's typically something that you do kind of out on, you know, recon patrols, what have you. But also in a CQB environment, you can have a lot of extra intel. You can kind of pick up like that guy says, like, man, I hear a lot of people working doors right now. I don't necessarily have to stop and count exactly how many doors I hear, but I, I know there's enough movement where multiple people are closing doors behind them or opening doors to to move positions, that's something that would make me a little bit more cautious of closed doors. Doubles closed, right? We will work left. You heard them calling out closed doors. These guys were pretty clearly instructed to clear and move instead of clear and hold. Going in, they weren't initially planning on stopping and breaching every door that they come across. But now that I can hear multiple people maybe closing doors behind them, could be a good idea for the team leaders to go ahead and move to a clear and hold where they were gonna make sure they can look inside all of those closed doors. Uh, With you left. Yep, hold I center, hold center. Watch your rear. Oh no, Watch oh no. Move. I got him. This man just freaking pulled a knife. Yeah, nice. you're gonna have to restrain him. Roger. I'm looking through like three angles here. You have a closed door, you're rear left. Right. 
I got real. Just go to Eagles. You guys see flashlights? Hey, they're in contact. Hey, yeah, everyone, good. just we're let good. it breathe. Find I'm a place. Uh, bang it. Matt and Buddy, you guys are left. All right, yep, we're getting left. Uh, Grover, take a couple steps forward. Confirm that terminates right. I got or is that an audible opener? left. Uh, no, it opens up. Right. Opens up. I got an audible on my left. Keep creeping with me. One down left. Keep creeping. Good move. Flip it. Now. All right, I got eyes on one suspect down. I'm about to make link up. Friendly's about to emerge from a door towards the guys on the right door. side. Bye, right bye. now. Friendly, friendly, friendly. Your rear. All right, this is cleared space to your rear. Hold what you got. Yeah, good call on that. You never want to kind of surprise your own guys. So either calling out friendly, 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 or we always did blue, blue, blue. Uh, hold on the left side. Let's work this open space on y'all's right. I'm with you right. Stand by to flip to the left and clear dead space hard left. Good. Clearing some dead space. These guys are good, man. Creep, creep, butter. creep, 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 butter. Creep, creep, creep. Oh, gotcha. Flip it. Flip it and butter take it with you. Reaching in. Three, two, one. Reach, reach, reach. I'm loose coming out on your left. Taking it. Female. Unarmed. Or on your right. Non-compliant front. Closed uh, hallway right. Closed door right now. That's why it's important to positively ID those targets. It would have been a little easier for him to just say, oh, person. Then he would have killed a nurse, it looks like. I got her. Hold that door. Got it. Hold long in the hallway with one. And then rear. Yeah, I got rear. Stairs. Closing back up. Raj, close it up. Yeah, again, just really good communications by these guys as a team. He's down, taking a knee. Mag, yours. Jeez, good breach. That one guy's tough, man. Hold that. Up in the front. Oh, what you got? Oh, oh my God, no shoot, no shoot. That was me. Uh, <laughs> I started that. Friendly fire between two people on the same team can happen. It does happen very unfortunately. You want to be at a level of training where it won't happen at all. Friendly fire in the sense of there was non-threats in there that you want to do your absolute best to positively ID beforehand so they don't end up getting shot. I know we were laughing, the guys in the game laughing, joking a little bit before about like, oh, in a real life scenario, not necessarily something to joke about. You want to do your absolute best to positively ID those no shoots as well as the threats. Taking it. Good shotgun breach. Hold that. I got doubles right. They are workable. This is going to trigger a massive angle. Watch your back in Butter three, breathing. two, All right. yeah, yeah. one. Opens. Taking it. Forgive me, but it seemed like when he was stacking up on that door, the hinges would have suggested it would have come out to him, which would have made him reposition. So I don't know if that was like a developer hiccup, because the door was closed and the hinges were on the same side as him. That closed door behind you is no factor snow. Damn. Snow's in contact. One is down. I've still got one moving left. Good hit. Let's collapse the whole team. We're working open door, base level. Push it. Don't stand in the door. And it looks like hallway left. I hear left. movement. Shooter. He's unarmed. He's unarmed. He had a gun. He definitely had a gun. Yeah, he had a gun. Two down, right? I need a plate center. That was a great entry into that room. He had his corner. He was taking care of it. Those left side problems were being handled by the left side. That's fantastic. He could not have done any better. See? He even got the drop on him. Beautiful. Get ready to swing it. Ready? On you. What do you mean? Good spot to reload. I'm cleared. There are specific breaching rounds that will take out after kind of effect of shooting them, you know, like I wouldn't necessarily want to breach a door with a round that might, you know, skip off of the other metal around it or whatever the door is made out of. There's different breaching shotguns that are used all around the world by all different people. Remington shotguns like the 870 pumps are great. A lot of times you'd want them in a compact sort of package. The pump shotguns do well without having like a recoil system that go through the stock that would allow you to have more of that kind of sawed off sort of look that would be more usable for breaching. Something I like a lot about Ready or Not is the rules of engagement that they seem to be following. It's 
not always all military everybody you're gonna see is someone you need to shoot in the military context that's also the case this game specifically it seems like you know you have to have a weapon you have to have intent imminent jeopardy all of the things that would lead a law enforcement officer to end up in a firefight with somebody and if those requirements aren't being met they seem to be doing everything they can to detain the suspect or hostage or whoever it might might be, which I think is fantastic training for real life kind of scenario. Couple of seconds. Reacher. Yeah. Uh, long door, long door, runner. Oh, hold on, hold on. Down. Right, I thought he was hold getting ready to hold drop it, but he did not. No, oh, he was not getting ready to drop that. <laughs> That's a good shot. This looks like a massive structure, so let it breathe. We're not flooding it. Fight from the threshold, then we'll make the call to flood if it's calm enough. Good call. To clear a large space like this, I'm gonna take as many people as I can get, like a squad type element where I might break them off into two, three different teams, especially for larger areas where I can get certain teams maybe on different parts of the large structure that we're trying to get into. In those teams, probably four at the least. Uh, that way you can have a designated team leader. You've got your point man, your rear security, your other man in the middle, and even the, the team leader filling in those roles is gonna change throughout the process of trying to enter this building. You have to be aware enough of what's going on around you and you have to be aware of all of the specific roles in the stack because these guys have certain folks that only breach and these guys probably have one certain guy with a radio that has multiple different frequencies programmed to where he can talk to not just the people directly around him in a team. In that aspect, you have at least two guns that can go two different directions. You have enough room to where you can have somebody post in rear security. That's one of the difficult parts about two-man CQB and one of the parts that's almost impossible with single-man CQB is having someone around you that has the sole responsibility of checking the rear and making sure that no one is trying to flank around and meet us from the same direction we came from if you scare me you get yeah. shot twice as much yeah that's a real thing <laughs> Could you imagine ordering like a hoodie or something and then you receive it and it's just like all taped up and there's just like a bullet hole through it because the postal service got in a gunfight? God, I wonder how all that would work. Bypassing this guy, wrap him up, please. Got it. Oh, no, no. Guys, that's it for Ready or Not. If you would like more Experts React, make sure to check out Gameology's Facebook and YouTube channels. If you would like more of me personally, my Instagram is at shooter.dad. And as always, remember to stay mentally, spiritually, and physically prepared. Thank you.